Hi guys, it's Bible Girl. It's Testimony Tuesday. I may even post another video today because there's something else I want to do, but I definitely wanted to get in a Testimony Tuesday. And uh, real quick, small housekeeping before I go on. Uh, a lot of you have been sending me comments and things asking about different videos and things like that. And if you're one who will please, I'm going to annotate up here, watch the video, rest in peace laptop, and you'll understand why certain things haven't been on my channel lately. Okay, so I am going to be 23 in less than two months, and because of that, I've been really contemplating the fact that I should try to meet men, <laughs> try to date and whatnot, because, you know... If I want to have a decent length relationship before I get married, I need to start soon because I want to have kids in my 20s and for their health and whatnot. And that's what I want. I want to be a mom. But when it comes to that, there are definitely people have standards, and I have standards too. And lately, I've kind of been, I've attacked may not be quite the right word, but I definitely need to defend myself on a couple standards that have one particular one <laughs> that have come up in conversations. Really, people don't, don't even know me very well. And my standard is I only date virgins. And yes, this makes it a PG-13 video. So, if you don't want to hear the talks about the sex, you can go now. <laughs> okay, uh, virginity to me is very important. My virginity is very important, very special. And I see it as already honoring my future husband, honoring him, respecting him. And if my future husband is already honoring me and respecting me and has been doing so since he was a teenager, I think that's a fantastic start to any relationship. I'm going to a more religious perspective as to why I only want to date and eventually marry a virgin is really comes out of John 4. Now John 4 discusses this woman and Jesus is basically saying everyone you've had sex with is basically like your spouse and I really don't want my personal virginity purity tainted by a husband's past mistakes I just don't and also when we look at Genesis men and women were one flesh and marriage through the gift of sex from God is this time where we rejoin as this one flesh and it's a really beautiful picture and the idea is that I think we're supposed to have one soul partner until death separates us and otherwise you're bringing in all these other people into the oneness and it's not as pure it's not as beautiful. Also, I really want to protect myself physically from STDs and STIs. I'm aware that you can get some of these things also from blood and other things, but being only with a virgin when I'm married is definitely a way that I am a lot safer, a lot more chances of being healthy. And people tend to fall back into old habits. Now, a lot of people that have gotten upset, and this just really happened online, so, but, um, saying, well, everyone sinned, why should you judge this? And, yes, I sin, I am not perfect, I don't think anyone is besides Jesus. But, people fall into old habits, people who have already had these needs fulfilled, I don't know what it feels like to have this need fulfilled. So I am less likely to push towards that and people that have already had this need fulfilled and 
fall back a little into sin and everybody does that every now and then I'm going to be the one pressured in a relationship and I don't want to be and from a strictly selfish perspective I don't want to be compared sex is probably already going to be scary enough the initial time <laughs> Um, nervous, not knowing what to do, a little, you know, whenever you're new at anything, it's a little confusing, <laughs> but I don't want to have to worry on top of that about being compared to one girl or ten girls or a hundred girls <laughs> that may have had a lot more experience than me, would have known how to do things a lot better. Sexuality is something that should be explored together. And both of you are a little awkward in the beginning, but you know, it turns into something eventually with practice, because practice makes perfect beautiful. And I used to be on like this, I think it was a Facebook group before they start changing groups on. I'm saving myself a wild, passionate, awkward honeymoon sex. <laughs> and I don't want that exploration to be tarnished by someone else that already explored with my husband. And yes, yes, there are lots of good Christian men and women who used to be sexually active before their marriage and recognized it was wrong and stopped. Fantastic. It's great. And I'm sure there's a good Christian man or woman out there for you, but I don't want to be with someone that isn't a virgin. And if people are allowed to say, I don't want to date someone because they're an inch shorter than me, or they're a smoker, or they have red hair. I mean, many of these things are very surface. I don't want to date a smoker either, but <laughs> many of the things are very surface and very much don't actually affect a person at all. Sex has emotional weight. Sex has baggage attached to it. You give yourself to someone. I think I have every right to say I only want to date a virgin. I only want to marry a virgin. You know, when I have kids, we're going to be able to say, yes, we waited. Yes, it was worth it. And I think that's a very powerful testimony. Okay, guys, so this is why I only want to date a virgin. <laughs> and maybe I'll start telling people to come here because my thoughts are pretty collected here. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you all, God bless, and I hope to see you later today. If not, I will see you on Friday for Fantasy Friday. Bye.